Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Oh, welcome back, everybody. Super important thing we're going to talk about today. And once you figure this thing out, it's a game changer in your life. You feel fulfilled. You feel that there is a reason for being. Maybe your job feels much better. I'm talking about your life purpose. Why are you here? What's your mission? <laughs> why, why were you created? We're going to talk about that. Also, your life path with an amazing life coach. And she's a part of a wonderful practice that practices holistic health and integrative mental health services. Full Moon Behavioral is that company. She is Vicky Hiron, and she joins us here on the program. How are you doing today? Great. Thank you, Steve. Pleasure to be here. I just want to say that it's Full Moon Behavioral, right? Correct. Today is a full moon. It is. <laughs> right? like, it is. We planned it. We planned it. it was, we this we is, absolutely planned it. So that's that, wonderful. That, that was our life purpose. So <laughs> what is a life purpose? How do you describe it? So life purpose, and I maybe I'll give a little bit of my background just to help put us into that stage and in where I'm coming from, from that standpoint. So I newly retired executive in the tech world. Um, and so I have that whole life coach experience from that. But what I also bring to that aspect is I'm also a psychic and a medium. So when I put that whole picture together, to me, when we're looking at life purpose and life path, it's what have you set up for yourself to accomplish in this lifetime? What are you trying to do? Right. So we all when we come into this being in this physical body and we, we've set up here's what i want to do in my lifetime we figure out here's the steps here's the lessons i want to learn here's how i want to grow as a soul here's how i want to grow as an individual um we, we basically set up this path forward that what we want to accomplish in this lifetime and it's important that we stay on that path from that standpoint, or things get a little wonky. So what I want to talk about is that path, whether you're on it, whether you're off it, what your purpose is from that standpoint. Does gotcha. that help? Yeah, hundred percent. So a little bit because you know, we'll make sure everyone understands where I'm coming from and what I'm talking about. Do you believe we all have a purpose, a talent that we were given? And yes, we're here to practice that. Oh, the UPS man just walked in. <laughs> Hi, UPS. That's his purpose right there. There it is. Right there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, shake my hand. Hold on a second. This is like this is what happens when you leave the door open. Okay, back to the life purpose. Do you believe yeah. that the the universe put us here with something to do, something that we were destined to do? Absolutely. So, and I think some people it's more than one, right? You can be a change maker from that standpoint and someone sure. whose purpose is to come in and bring change to this world. You can be someone who's here to learn all about love, whether it's how to love somebody else, how to love yourself, you, you know, how to spread love to the rest of the world. And you can have a couple themes going on, but usually there's one primary and maybe a secondary coming into play. But for sure, we have a purpose. And that purpose resonates with us. It helps us through our life. And so long as we keep track of that as we're going through our life, like for me, I'm a natural teacher. Hmm. But I've been an executive, right? And, and so for me, I still teach in my job, right? I would coach the students coming in. I would help the uh, new employees set up career paths within the organization. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? How do we get you there? Let's set the steps up to do that. So you can carry that life purpose, even if you're not standing in front of a classroom and teaching, but you can still carry that forward in other ways. And it's being true to yourself. That's what's really important about that purpose. Hmm. Key point right there. We're going to circle back to that in, in a second. Okay. Do you feel that many of us think our life purpose should be our job and that's where sometimes we derail a little bit because you could have a job 
but then you volunteer over here and that is really your life purpose. Exactly. You can do, you don't have to be in that career by what our society views as a career as your life purpose. You can add purpose into it or you can do it. There's ways of handling, but know that those that do truly follow that life purpose in their career, they're very successful, right? Mm. Because that's their passion. That's what yeah. makes your heart sing. And you want to make your heart sing. But that's not always reality for some people. And that's okay, right? You can do a different career. Work in the tech industry and still coach people. Absolutely. There's no, you know, there's no doubt about that. But if you can do both, fabulous. How do you know you found your life purpose? It's what makes your heart sing. It's that core. It's what draws you in. It's what makes you feel the best. It's what comes the easiest for you. If it's a constant uphill slog, it's not your purpose. <laughs> your purpose mm. shouldn't be difficult, right? Oh, I may have lost you there on the Wi-Fi connection. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend? Nice, single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. All right, we're back with her. We found her. Yeah. Back with Vicky, the life coach from Full Moon Behavioral. And so let's pick up where we left off. How do you know when you have truly nailed your life purpose? So when you've truly nailed your life purpose, and I will say you're, you might, and the other side, our guides, our ancestors will give us cues and let us know, are we on our path? Are we doing what we should be doing? Deja vu's. Who hasn't experienced them, right? Mm. It just says, I'm here. I'm where I'm supposed to be. It, this was in my path and this is in my plan. Synchronicity. Everything just lines up and feels so right and so good. Again, you're where you're supposed to be. Everything falls into place. You know, when you know you're in the right spot, you can fall into a pile of poo and you come out smelling like a rose hmm. because you're on that path you're supposed to be. It shouldn't be a, an uphill slog. It should be something that resonates with you, that feels right, that I don't want to say is effortless because, you know, there's some work involved. Absolutely. So we grow as an individual and as a soul. But it's the chance to um, just see that everything just seems to line up and it just feels good. When you're not on that path and you're not doing it, you know, that's where you're going to see some things that life gets hard. It gets difficult. And you've got that situation where um, if you continue, I would say, if you continue staying off your path, people can get depressed. People can get out of sorts. Things just, it feels like a sense of loss. They feel disconnected, right? Because you're not where you're supposed to be from that standpoint. So your body and your your soul and, your, and the other signs trying to give you cues. And they're trying to tell you, hey, this is not where you feel good. You shouldn't be over here. This is where you do. And this is where you should be. And they'll nudge you, right? They'll nudge you. If you're in the wrong job, they'll push you out. If, you know, it give you hints, this is not a pleasant place to work. You know, it becomes toxic if there's issues. Um, and then, hey, maybe I'm in the wrong kind of career. Maybe I need to switch and really follow what makes me happy. So it's a matter of lining up and really listening, doing some self-reflection, right? And I don't mean analysis paralysis, but actually self-reflect and go, what truly do I want to do with my life and what makes me feel good and, and what do I want to accomplish? Write that down, then figure out, okay, how do I get there? If I'm not there, right? How do I get to that spot? Mm. 
It's almost like manifesting it. It is in a way. Yeah. It is because the other side will bring you what you need when you need, and you're going to manifest getting there as well. So it all becomes synchronous, right? Everything just happens and it happens in a beautiful way. What's the difference between a life path and a life purpose? So the purpose to me is, is a background, like teaching. It's not a path. It's a purpose. It's, it's what you're here to do. The warrior. And I call this individual the warrior because they're in here to defend the right and, and you know, put down what's wrong. Theirs is a tough path, right? Because they're constantly going up against what's wrong. And some would say, that's too much. I don't want to do it. Others would say, this gets me excited. And this makes me happy to help other people and to make right what's wrong, right? Mm -hmm. So everyone kind of has a different purpose. And you can, again, have a couple purposes that really resonate with you and that it's what and who you are. It's the core being of who and what you are. The path is what you want to learn, what you want to accomplish, how you want to get there in this lifetime frame. We all want to grow as a soul. We all want to get to a higher and higher level and just become a better person. That's our path. How do we become that better person? But the purpose is what's behind it. It's what makes us tick. Hmm. It's not about me, but I want to share my situation because I think it, it illustrates what we're talking about. Because that's what I figured out in terms of the, the life, life purpose. Mm -hmm. So, and I'll make this really quick. I've been doing radio since I was 17. I was at a big station, got, got lucky very in the very beginning for 26 years I was there. It was time to go. It just, they were changing. It's just, I didn't align with the changes. They were going in a rude and crude direction. I don't do that. So now I'm searching. What do I do now? I have uh some time that they're still paying me, but uh, I got a kid on the way. Uh, I got to pay bills. <laughs> freak right. mode, freak mode. So I started uh, interviewing for jobs like a uh, external affairs director at a hospital. We're going to give it a try. Um, so jobs like that. And I wanted to do something where I can help people. I wanted to do something where I could help people. And then mm -hmm. one day somebody said to me, Hey, don't you realize you're doing that when you're on the air? And I'm like, oh, okay. So I got back into radio. And then at that point, I opened a marketing company. And this is probably about 15-ish years ago. And I did that because I like to be creative, but I like to help people. And so all of that just, and then here I am doing podcasts. Uh, I hope we're helping people. Um, but that's what it was. I was looking, I felt like I wasn't doing my purpose. But I but then I realized with help from somebody else's eyes that I really was. Um, and it is. I've right. always wanted to do this, by the way. And that's fantastic. You've, you are on your path, right? You're moving forward and you've got way more to do, by the way. And I, I love that because what I see is beautiful for you going forward. Just and by the way, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you're right. And I'm already working on it. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It will be successful. That project you your head and it's going forward it's going to be very very good so okay so and have, have the faith in yourself and be able to go forward with it people say um pe who, people who are intuitive say i am intuitive you know and i'm like hey whatever um but i feel it i feel it like yeah this is what i'm this is the way to go and it, i have two two different projects i'm working on but they're very similar and and the end goal of helping people is is there so Right. Are you a mind reader? Like, are you a psychic? What are you doing over there? Hmm. Tell me your story. How did you get, you know, you were in the corporate world and then you wound up being a life coach. How did that all go along? How did that go? That's an interesting scenario. Because like I said, I've been doing it kind of all along through a way in the corporate world. Um, I, I, wow. I don't even know how to begin with that. <laughs> because... It's like the corporate world is what I was handed in a way in like high school. You're asked to pick what you want to do for the rest of your life. How does anybody do that? At the age of 16, 17 years old, figure out 
This is my life going forward. That's a really difficult thing to ask a teenager to do. And I was always very good in math and science. And so everyone's like, mm, you need to go the engineering route. You need to get mm. into corporate. You need to, you need to be the tech person. That's the future. The way the future is going is tech. So I'm like, okay, why not? So down that path I went. Once I'm in it, you're in it, you know, and it's in yeah. there and it's it's tough to sit back and say, I'm going to do major life career changes. I've shifted jobs and I've worked within engineering. I've worked within marketing. I've worked within program management. I've set up new businesses. I've done all kinds of things from that aspect, all within the business world. But what always kept me excited and passionate about that job is the people. And how do I help the people and how do I help the organization get to where it needs to go? So I morphed it into what I am. And when finally the time came from going, okay, I can retire from that corporate world. I'm, I'm doing good. And I, it's time to put that away. It's now let's really do the things that make my heart sing. Right. And it, it's working with full moon behavior. It's what makes my heart sing is to be able wow. to sit back and help people figure out here's what you need. And okay, are you off your path or is it you just haven't learned your lesson? Because you have to figure that out too, right? Because we set ourselves up for learning certain lessons in this lifetime. And if you go through one experience, it didn't go great. All of a sudden it's back at you again. You're like, dang, really? I've done this before. Why am I doing this again? And it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back. If you keep experiencing that again and again, maybe you've not learned something you should have learned. Okay, right. let's 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 go there for just a moment, because um, yeah. it sounds like it's your belief that the universe has a lesson for you, and if you don't learn it, you're just going to learn it. You're going to have to do it over again, oh, over okay. again. Yes, and I've I've adopted this. I mean, <laughs> my mom used to say this all the time. I'm sure you heard it a million times. Go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Then I realized the flow is like, all right, we're in the uh, we're in the ocean of life and the current has taken us, right? And we're, this is the way we're supposed to go because that's the way the current is taking you. But I don't want to go that way. So then you fight the current. You're trying to push your way back here, maybe swim to an island for a minute and all that. But eventually the current's still going to take you and you're going to wind up there anyway. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. It's, it, it's going to take you and you're going to wind up there anyway. And it's a matter of looking at it and, and you need to say, and, and it's one thing I've always, I learned over time and I love putting it into play and helping people understand to do that is no matter how difficult it is, something good came out of it, whatever it was you experienced and what did you learn from it? Whether it's, I don't want to ever experience that again. You've learned something, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that again. But if it's a relationship or a repeat on that, it's like, what did you not learn? And also thanking that situation or that person or people. And thank you for teaching me that. It's putting that positive spin on it and not viewing it in a negative way. It's being thankful that they helped you get to that next level and say, I learned that lesson. Thank you. I appreciate you and everything that you did for me. And now you move on and it never happens again. You don't have mm. to experience it again because you've given them that cord of appreciation and you've learned from it as well. It's a good mm. thing. Mm. Sometimes it's not so easy to thank them for that lesson when it was um, painful <laughs> at times, right? But that's time, right? Because there's that, if it's a hard thing, there's grief, there's anger, there's all kinds of emotions affiliated with it. And it really is hard to mm. say, thank you for what I learned. You may need time to yeah. sit back and that's okay. Take that time. And then you don't have to tell it to them personally. If you don't want to, there's no reason to do that. Sure. You can do that to your, I would say your higher self, right? You sit back in your mind and you're in your happy place, wherever it makes you feel happy, whether it's sitting on a beach in the woods, you know, it, it, with a blanket on your lap in front of the fire. And you say, you know what? Thanks. I did learn from that and I appreciate it. And no one has to hear that but you, but it went out into the universe. Hmm. Thank you for that. Yeah. Because I think we minimize doing those kinds of things. 
me just saying that is really, you know, to the speaking to the ceiling, is that really going to make a difference? But yes, yeah, it is. It does. Yeah. It does because it puts it out there. It gives meaning to it. It gives depth to it. And it also gives meaning and depth to you because now you've said it, right? Mm. Now you've said it. And so that makes it part of your reality. Right, right. And now you've, you've just by doing that, there's clarity in all of it. And of course, we could do another podcast on forgiveness and why it's so important. Um, not easy to do. The other person doesn't need to hear it. It's all, it's all about you. It doesn't mean you condone what they did either. Right. Not, it's not saying what they did was right. Absolutely right. not. But it's saying, hey, I experienced this. Wasn't pleasant, but I've grown from it. I know how to keep myself out of that situation again. Or hopefully I help them learn as well as myself learn that maybe we both escalated it too much or mm. where the situation is. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of options that could be. But at least you've taken something away from it and you're a better person for it. And the next encounter you have with somebody or a corporation or yeah. an animal, whatever it is, yeah, it's, yeah. Better. it's better. Uh, you are very different as a life coach because you also embody a lot of other things. Like, seems like it's energy. Manifestation is kind of part of that. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things going on. And there's many great life coaches out there that just uh, pilot on life coaching principles. But you got more going on in your your bag of tricks, your arsenal, if you will. You. And it's very refreshing. And you're very quick to the point uh, and clear. It's, uh, yeah, very refreshing. Like, I, you back up things that I wondered about, how to define these things. Um, I guess that's your life purpose. Yeah, thank you. I really mm. appreciate that. I really mean that. Uh, how does somebody connect with you and or the team over at Full Moon? So you can reach me at fullmoonbehavioral.com. So I'm on there. Everyone else is on that location. And we'd be happy to help if someone wants to talk about, hey, I, I, I don't know what my purpose is. Yeah. We can find that out together, right? We can figure that out. What makes your heart sing? And where do we need to go? Or it's, I do know what my purpose is, but... I don't want to do it. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's talk again. You know, we, that, we never, you know? we never encountered that one. Um, <laughs> hmm, that's that we're out of time, but I had, I got to process that one. I know what my life purpose is, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> we wow. have the right to change, right? We, sure. we, there is, um, everyone has the ability to change and change their path if they want, right? Even though your path is one thing you can sit back, you have free will. No oh, one is mandating. This is what must be done. You have free will to change it, but know that you're changing that contract per se of this life. I got have to it. ask this question then. If you feel that you need to change your life purpose, then is it really your life purpose? I think it can be because okay. there's no reason it can't be too, or it can't change. If you think, I've learned what I wanted to learn from this and I've done the things I wanted to do given this purpose. I want to shift my purpose. Mm. Okay. Okay. Right. But it's still there. It's in the background, you know, but maybe something else becomes more of your focus. And that's why you should work with somebody to figure this all out yeah. <laughs> without a doubt. Your name, yeah. just if somebody's looking for you specifically you on the what? website, V I C K I last name G I R O N. Vicki, wonderful talking with you today. Thank you for all the insight and uh, looking forward if we get a chance to catch up again. Pleasure, Steve. Same here. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. 
For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.